Hey, so I just wanted to come and I guess just do a viewing of a bag that I got from Tradesy. And Tradesy, um, it's basically a site. They sell a bunch of different stuff, handbags. I believe they sell clothing, um, like luxury items that's supposed to be all authentic. Um, but the only thing about Tradesy is no one actually verifies their items before it's placed on the site. Um, due to the fact that it's all individual sellers placing their items on the site. <clears throat> and if you at any point have a discrepancy or question the authenticity of an item you receive, you can mail it to them. And if they find that it's not authentic, they'll give you a full refund or a credit store credit um, if you prefer. Um, and But if it is authentic, then you still have the option of either keeping it or returning it back. They have like a no hassle, no haggle return policy, which is really good. But um, at the end of the day, it is kind of hassle to get something, feel as if it's not authentic, then send it back, then wait for them authenticated, then receive a gift card or a refund. So it is kind of like a hassle. But anyway, um, I don't mind going on there for um, lower end bags just because I feel like the probabilities of getting a not so a not a unauthentic um, lower end bag is not as high. As you have some scammers trying to get over on you for getting like a Louis Vuitton or something of that nature. So I actually got a Zach Posen bag, um, which I believe is like a mini crossbody. Um, so this is a bag. As you can see, it came with a dust bag. Now, one thing I can say about the dust bag is um, it's like, I don't know, it's like a few little marks on it. It's kind of piling up a little bit. And the dust bag is not in the best condition, I will be honest with you. Um, now, the seller I purchased it from, I asked her tons of questions before I actually went ahead and finally paid my money to purchase it. Um, so, she did say it'll come with a dust bag. She did say she only wore it two or three times max and it's like new. And she kept, and she kept it up very, very well. Um... So, yeah, it does come with a dust bag, but like I said, as you can see, you can see like a mark here, a mark here, some fading, couple marks here, a mark here. So, um, I guess it's good that it comes with a dust bag, but it's just kind of like not in the best condition. So, the outside of the dust bag is like a cotton material, but the inside is like a really soft microfiber material, which I do like because it won't pull or rub against your bag. Now, I don't know if this was my doing or it just wasn't in the best condition um, when she sent it to me. The pulls or the drawstrings for the dust bag have just all come out. You know, kind of when you have a hoodie and you pull the string a wrong way and they all just go come out that's kind of what happened on me now no I did not receive it like this but I don't know if it was already on its last leg and when I pulled it it just came out but I wasn't too fond of that but like I said this bag's found the best condition anyway now this is a bag the bag is actually in the condition she described I couldn't find any imperfections with the bag which I'm really happy about um, it is in like new condition like um, she did tell me the hardware was actually a distressed hardware, so the little marks or distressing that you see is actually intentional from the designer. It's not her doing at all, so, um, and you can tell because it's smooth to the touch. It's, you don't feel any raised scratches or marks or anything like that. Um, it just so happened that that was the design of this bag. As you can see, they do have feet on the bag, on the bottom, so that if you ever place it down, it doesn't get dirty. Um, so let me just show you the bag really quick you can hold it like this um it's the back of it it also has a zach posing plate right here um it does come with a strap now the strap is not super long i thought it would be a really long crossbody strap and it's not technically is it a crossbody yes i can put it over um, and cross it around my body and um, I can wear it as a shoulder bag but if I had to say I would say this is more so a shoulder bag and depending on your frame size it can or cannot be a crossbody but it doesn't have a whole lot of leeway it's not super long just a little detailing the bag has that posing right there and how you open the bag it just pops open the interior is black kind of like a I don't know type of material this is but um, something that's easily wipeable, you can tell, 
um the bag is not very large let me see if i can show the inside yeah so it's a mint considered more so i would say a mini bag sorry um because the bag is not super large um so I'd say this is like a mini, but it is enough space to put your phone, your keys, some makeup, a mirror. It's ample space to say it's a mini bag, but it's not like a huge duffel or tote. You have a pocket back here, which you can place stuff in. And then you also have a pocket on the other side, as you can see right here, that you can place stuff in. I like that they didn't put the stereotypical old school cell phone pocket in there that no one's cell phone fits in anymore you also have the tag right here it's like black on black so let me see if i could get it zach um zach pose and you have his tag right here like i said it's a very wipeable material um and to say it's a mini bag it is pretty large it's a good angle so you can see about how much space you get um, and like I said, you can hold it top handle. And I don't know what kind of material this is, but one thing I can say, I was not expecting it to be soft. And it's pretty soft for the type of material that it is. It's not rough or anything. To say it's that replica um, animal skin material is very soft. I really like it. Um, they had some Zach posing bags I saw online on sale on his site. And also on um, like Saks Off Fifth. Um, the best deal, of course, would be on Saks Off Fifth or a site comparable. But um, they didn't really have any colors that I truly liked. Um, they had a really good deal on a, this exact bag, but it was like a burgundy purple color. And um, I don't think I would have got too much wear out of it. I like this because it's different. I love this beige tan type of color. I don't know if this is real leather or not. Um, for the original price of this bag, it should be real leather. I only pay a $160, um, but it is like new. But um, I do like the fact that it's different. I haven't seen um, a colorway like this online, so I'm pretty sure um, this colorway is just discontinued. Another cool feature, um, I already showed the pl name plate on the back, but another cool feature is this is a functional pocket in the back. So if you're on the go and just want to throw... Um, your wallet, not your wallet, but maybe your phone or your ID, something just right here that you can quickly grab without having to open up the bag again. Um, that's actually really handled. And the bag does sit out with these little wings out, which I actually like. I think it's cute. And one more thing, she did include the tag. It's in the back pocket. She told me that she got it actually from a Saks Off Fifth, like an outlet Saks Off Fifth store. In New York and um, this is a tag that came with it I guess this was the original price and then maybe this was a sales price I don't know if she actually paid this or got additional sale off of this um, but it did come with the tag which is um, which is nice to have so um, yeah this was just a little showing of the Zach by Zach posing bag that I got um, I do have to say the design of his bags are different I don't think I've seen anyone kind of have an aesthetic that looks like this but I actually quite like it and um, I did see a, another style that I actually liked on the Saks Off Fifth website which is an oversized tote so if in a couple weeks if it's still there I probably will get it and if so I'll probably do another video but if you have any questions you can leave them below